Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad. Welcome back to the Gubernation Gun Range. It's a beautiful day out. It really is. Despite the uh, winter hat and the winter jacket, it's warming up pretty nicely today. I think it's going to be a perfect day to do some shooting. What we got today is a little test. Santa Claus was very good to Mr. Daddy this year and got me a new pair of Birkenstocks, which means I've got an old pair just sitting around. The Birkenstocks I found to be very durable, very tough. They last us two or three years before they wear out. Good thick lever on the soles and on the straps. So I was thinking, you know what? Instead of throwing away my old sandals, I should see if they're bulletproof. So that is our test for today. Can Birkenstocks stop a bullet? Let's find out. And here is our Birkenstocks, and as you can see, these things are pretty well worn out. We're not wasting anything here. These things got nowhere to go but the trash. And you know what? Instead of trashing them, let's put it to a one last good use. What do you think? Can these guys stop a bullet? That's some pretty thick leather there. First round of the day, we're going to start out very, very tiny with some 22 short ammo. This is about the slowest softest, easiest shooting ammo you can get. And we're gonna take it one step further by shooting it out of my beautiful, one-of-a-kind, heritage Rough Rider snub-nosed revolver. I'm sure this thing is priceless, and I really shouldn't be taking it out of the safe and shooting it, but you know what, for you guys today, we're gonna go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna load one up, and uh, we're gonna see if these uh, tough old Birkenstocks can stop a 22 short. All right, we've got our one round of 22 short loaded up. We're going to do this at point blank range because I absolutely am awful at shooting this uh, little pistol. But I'm going to shoot for one of the straps so we can get maximum stoppage ability on the uh, Birkenstock. So here we go. One, two, three. Hmm. Pretty neat. Let's see what happens. Okay, here's our first sandal. We got a hole there, and we got a hole right there. Can't really tell out the back. Oh, I think that's it right uh, eh, somewhere in there. Oh, look at that. We stopped the bullet. It's right there in the second sandal. Man, I'm impressed. These Birkenstocks are a lot tougher than I thought. Well, that was the easiest test. Uh, let's move it up one more notch and uh, let's try out the uh, 22 long rifle. From a snub nose revolver with a tiny little bullet, we managed to get a stop on the Birkenstocks, but now we're going to move up to some hyper velocity ammo. This is a Gila Interceptor. It's moving at about 1400 feet per second. It is definitely a hard hitting bullet. Let me pull one out and just show you. So here is the interceptor and here is the 22 short we just shot so you can see it's got a little bit more powder behind it we're going to be shooting it out of the ruger 1022 which is a full length rifle barrel if these sandals stop this i will be extremely impressed although i mean i didn't expect it to stop so quickly with the short so let's get to shooting and find out all right here's our interceptor here is our 1022 uh, load it up there and again we're just going to do point blank here right through the strap let's see what happens <laughs> okay we got a sandal going flying off the edge there so i mean that might be a good indicator it stopped let's go check it out all right here is our new entry and obviously went through that first sandal Ooh, through the strap of the second sandal and looks like it went yep went all the way through there you can see a little bit of the stuffing coming out there and we're going into our third sandal right there i can feel an exit out of the third one i think yeah it feels like an exit right there where is our fourth sandal let's find out all right here's the fourth one moment of truth okay hit the straps right there and it went in it looks like or there it goes looks like it went in there maybe did it come out the back 
I don't think it came out the back. Don't see any holes there. So, either it's in there or it's bounced off somewhere in here. Let me look around and see if I can see anything. Okay, so we did stop a 22 long rifle with our Bergenstocks. It took four of them to do it, but it stopped it. So, let's go up one more notch. We got some Federal 115 grain 9 millimeter ammo. And I'm going to shoot it out of the old Taurus 692 revolver. 3 inch barrel. What do you think? Just barely stopped that 22. I don't know if we're going to make it with the 9 millimeter, but we're going to go find out. Okay, one round of nine millimeter loaded up there. Let's see if we got the right chamber. There we go. All right, let's take our shot. See if we can get all the way through. Here we go. Woo! That kicks a good bit more than the uh, 22. Let's see if we made it all the way through. First sandal hit right there. We're clocking on through that bad boy, no problem. Second sandal, where did we hit on this one? Huh, maybe just took out a corner there, but I think, yeah, we're going through no problem on that guy. Third sandal, also smashing on through, I believe. Yeah, it looks like we went through that one. Fourth sandal's on the table, ground, where are you? Yeah, I think. I think we went all the way through. All right, well, it was a good run. The Birkenstocks managed to stop a 22 long rifle, which is actually more than I thought they'd do. Santa didn't only give me Birkenstocks for Christmas. I also got a brand new pair of boots, which means I got a bunch of leftover boots to shoot. So let's go set those guys up and see. Maybe they could stop a nine millimeter. Okay, we've got a bunch of boots, a bunch of sandals, we're gonna load up another round of 9mm and the old 692. Man, what do you think? Are we gonna get through these boots and uh, sandals? I think we're gonna stop. I'm gonna shoot through them sideways, not through the toes. So this is all just gonna be leather. I'm interested to see what happens. All right, one more round in the old 692. Let's see if I can get a good square shot on this bad boy. Here we go. That looks like a good hit. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm going to show you what happened from a, a little bit of a different angle because this is pretty funny. I can I already see that. Uh, well, I'll just show you. Okay, so not a whole lot of evidence to pass through there, but then we can start to see the holes through the boots. And we're going through and we're going through and we're going through and we're going all the way through to the end of the table there the boots were no match for the nine millimeter which is a little bit depressing i was i was hoping we'd stop it i got a shotgun i got some buckshot i got a slug let's give it a shot and see what happens even though we know that we can't stop a nine millimeter okay we've got some buckshot and we've got a slug here so we'll do the buckshot first, and then we'll do the slug and see what happens. All right, one round of buckshot coming up. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Here's our sandals and a nice little hole through those guys there. Second one, also nice little hole. I'm not sure how these boots were set up, but as you can see, they definitely got a big old hole blown through them. I think Buckshot might be slowing down here. I can see, huh, the exit here looks like we might have caught some. Don't see any Buckshot in there, do I? No, no Buckshot. Okay, let's see if we can find some on the ground. Uh, all right, here's an old boot here. Any buckshot? Yeah. Yeah, Eric, start to come out there. There we go. Starting to find some buckshot in the boots. So, just like the 9mm boots and Birkenstocks 
just aren't gonna cut it. But I got a slug and I wanna see what happens. So final shot, let's see what the slug does to the sandals and the boots. All right, final round of the day is the slug. Ah, it's definitely gonna go all the way through. I'm just curious to see what happens. Here we go, three, two, one. <laughs> and we cleared the table. Okay, the only thing left on this table is this poor sandal here. And we got a very nice little hole all the way through. And on the ground, ugh, more holy sandals. Wow, this one we hit the metal on the strap and punched it all the way through. And actually, I've, I'm seeing a... Yeah, this is hot. It's uh, this is a piece of the slug. I wonder if it got chopped off by the uh, by the strap there. That is jammed all the way inside that sandal. That is gnarly. Yeah, I think it punched through here. There we go. Out that side there. Yeah, definitely punched through that one. No problem. There's a hole from the slug. Oh, more. It's got more lead in there. Huh? The slug's breaking apart. Wow, wait, there's a big chunk there. Huh, this slug is falling apart inside those boots. That is crazy. I wonder, I wonder if it didn't make it all the way through. Yeah, I don't see uh I don't see a hole where the slug would have went. So that slug got stopped in the boots. So hitting the uh, metal strap on these uh, sandals here, I think it might have just been enough to break that slug apart and uh, really slowed it down. It didn't get through all the uh, boots. Well, I think the results speak for themselves. If you are hiding in your house from a raging mad squirrel hunter with a 22 rifle, the shoe rack might be a good place to hide behind. But if there's anything bigger coming at you, then those Birkenstocks and boots just aren't gonna cut it. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. We'll see you next time.